everyone. Welcome to the show. So a new Yahoo News YouGov poll shows Donald Trump and Joe Biden in a dead heat for the presidency. This is not good news. Um, of the 1,636 registered voters that they polled, this was just recently between September 14th and September 18th, Trump and Biden were tied at 44%. 7% of respondents said they're still undecided, and then 4% said, we're just not voting. So that's a significant change since the same poll was conducted just last month in August. Um, the previous survey had Biden at 47% and Trump at 41%. Biden's approval rating has also dropped a bit. It's now down to 38%. And of key importance here, 75% of Americans rate the economy as fair or poor, which is disastrous uh, for Biden. Um, but what's most damning in this poll is the sentiment among independent voters. They typically swing elections, right? I've said this before, they are a crucial part of the, the electorate. Um, and 30, or excuse me, 49% of them believe that Trump is likely guilty of a crime. And 54% say that if he's convicted of a serious crime, he shouldn't be allowed to serve as president. Yet they still favor Trump over Biden. 45% of independents polled said that they prefer Trump compared to 36% who would vote for Biden. So this is all bad news. And yet I have some ideas about why it might not be as bad as we think it is. First of all, this was an online poll. People could opt in and then YouGov decided who would be included. So I think these types of polls tend to skew towards people who already have an ax to grind, right? Because they want to express their opinions. They're pissed off about something. Something going on in the country is upsetting them. So, you know, it makes sense. It would be people who are suffering in this economy, people who want to let the government know they're not happy with the job they're doing. My second thought is that younger people are not taking online polls like this. So these demographics skew towards older voters who in general are more conservative. My other thought, which is probably the most crucial, is that the anti-Republican vote is not being factored in here. Um, the number of Republicans who absolutely positively refuse to back Trump has grown since his last term in office. That was never a factor in the past, and it could offset the gains that he's made among independents. Just a thought, I mean, they might be reflected a little bit in this poll, but then there could be a lot of Republicans out there who don't necessarily want to admit that they've given up on Trump. You know, maybe their circle of friends, their family are still on the Trump train and they don't necessarily want to be the odd person out. And so they're not willing to admit it. Um, would they admit it in a poll like this? Yes. Would they be all excited to go take a poll? Would they be signing up, you know, to, to take a poll? Probably not. They're probably just going to keep their their opinions to themselves, you know, keep their heads down. And they're either not going to vote at all or they're going to vote for Joe Biden because they want Trump gone, because they want their party back. So, you know, we've seen that. There's been people, um, there was one guy, I don't know if you guys saw this video, there was a man at an Iowa event just about a month ago he walked up to a reporter and he started talking with a Trump supporter and he laid into him and he said, I voted for Trump in 2016 and I and others like me are going to make sure that he does not win in, in 2024 because he's unfit. So there's a lot of people out there like that who aren't necessarily going to be stepping up to the mic and you know, trying to get their opinions out there to the masses. So just a thought, you know, maybe it might not be as dire as we think. There was also some news about some special elections that I'll share with you guys in another video. Um, but it's, it's not all doom and gloom as it appears, but we'll see. And it's early too, right? Anything could happen. 
I do think a lot of these independents who say, yes, I think Trump should be indicted. No, he shouldn't be president if he's uh, convicted of a serious crime. I think that if he is convicted in any of these, you know, 91 felony charges against him, I think it could swing them. I think uh, many of them would abandon him at that point. Um, and it could make some difference even among Republicans as well. So we will see how it all shakes out. I'll keep you guys posted. As I always say, don't put your faith in any one poll. Look at the trend lines. Unfortunately, the trend lines seem to be going in Trump's favor, at least in the primaries. All right. I will talk with you all later. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share, please subscribe, please donate if you possibly can. Love you guys. Take care. Talk with you soon.